With the new consoles, the Xbox Series S and the PS5, Ubisoft has made a decision to allow crossplay to be in the works. So in this video, I want to break down some key reasons of why crossplay should happen with the PS5 and Xbox and why it would be a good but also bad reason if they did it from console to PC. Now first, what is crossplay? Well, crossplay is simply the ability to play the same game. For example, a game like Fortnite, which offers crossplay with other people on different formats. So for example, if you got friends that are on Xbox One, uh, PS4, or PC, you guys can all play in the same match. Now let's go over console to console first. I'm gonna break down some positives and negatives if this were to become a thing and reasons why it would be very good for a game like Siege. Now, before going over the positives, first, uh, there is console generation, like cross-platform, which means if you owned an Xbox One and you bought the new Xbox, you can play from both sides, basically, if that makes sense. You can play people that's on the newer system if you're on the older system, and it's vice versa with the PlayStation. But my main point is for console to console, PS4 to Xbox One, for example, or PS5 to the newer Xbox. The number one reason why I think this would be a great idea is it's healthier matchmaking. And I'm coming from a stance from being a low gold one to a champion every season on Xbox. I play the game for five plus years on console. And before I moved to PC, something I noticed, at least in champion ELO, is that you are relatively facing the same people. It is absolutely annoying and it gets actually kind of boring facing the same people, especially when you're in the higher ELO. Something that also I noticed when you play late nights or early mornings, it's harder to find games. So just playing people on different platform, that would be very cool and it would make life a lot easier and you would get faster games. It would also kill this weird debate whether Xbox or PlayStation player base is better. The only negative I can see being on Ubisoft's side is them spending more money on stronger servers because you would think that when more players play on one server, it would have to be a lot stronger, the tick rate would have to be higher, and all of that. I'm not too educated when it comes to servers, so I'm just trying to generalize this, but you would think that Ubisoft would have to spend more money on servers, which, uh, as a large corporation, they don't really need to, you know, make crossplay a viable thing. But I don't think Ubisoft has a reason to actually make this a thing. So I just don't see it in the future. It's something that we can wish for. They are doing, like I said, uh, Xbox One to the newer Xbox and, you know, last generation to newer generation. That's cool and all. But I think that we need to go a step ahead and just get the PlayStation Xbox a thing. Now, I want to touch upon why console to PC would not be a good thing at all. And there's a lot more negatives than there is positives. Now, the only way I would like to see PC to console crossplay become a thing is if only it was in casual modes or arcade style modes or custom games. I don't think this would be a good reason for ranked. Uh, I don't care what anybody says, even if you say MNK on console is a thing or if they allowed MNK on console, I'm going to break down the reasons why right now. Now, I'm going to weigh out the negatives, of course, is PC MNK is more powerful than Zim MNK. If you were to look at console siege right now in its current state, that it's, ra it's raffled by a bunch of Zim MNK users, Cronus users, all these third-party devices, strike packs with mods. Even if all the cheaters from console were to face the PC players, they would 100% get destroyed. And it's not because, you know, we're better than, you know, Xbox players and PS4 players. No, it's a sole purpose that we're using a proper MNK, which is a thousand times smoother than a Zim Apex, a Cronus Max, a strike pack. Not even that, we can also change our resolution, we get a higher FPS rate. For example, you guys are stuck on a 59 FPS if you're talking last gen. Newer gen, you get 120, which isn't actually as bad. But just the sole purpose that if you're playing a legitimate game on a controller, or if you're even cheating, there's no way they're going to be able to compete in high-ranking games. Especially if Amasis not being a thing on console, that's just giving you one more reason to not make this a thing. Because... A lot of the times, PC silvers against uh, Xbox silvers, PC silvers are still going to be out of advantage unless, like, all of a sudden you're bolo on sticks. But you have so many limitations being on a controller comparing to a MNK. When you're on a controller, you have very rugged movement. You can't lean without, you can't lean while un ADSing. You can't aim properly. You can't make micro adjustments comparing to a mouse. Mouse is a lot more accurate, hence why MNK is so vi viable when you're on a Zim. 
you just have the ability to overpower kids on controller. Now, when talking about MNK on console, if they should allow that, I don't think they should. I, I just don't think that Xbox and PS4, you should be able to hook up a uh, uh, MNK and just start playing. I think that's the whole reason why you buy PC. You have better performance. You use MNK. You know, if you want, you can use a controller, but you're at a disadvantage. I just don't think that you buy console to play MNK or to face MNK people. I look at console as a more casual, you know, family friendly like fan base, and at least looking at FPS games like Call of Duty, where controller is like. The number one thing because you know you have aim assist it's so powerful on um controller but you go to rainbow six siege there's no aim assist and you actually have to aim with sticks and you have no help i personally don't know how i'd feel about you know buying my kid a xbox in the future and then you know they also have to hook up a mnk i would just buy them a pc at that point because there's so many limitations when you use a console whether that's just the specs or what you can play so I would just buy the person a P PC. If I wanted to just, you know, give my kid, you know, an Xbox or PS4 to play like 2K or something, then there you go. They use a controller. But MNK on console, I don't think it would be, you know, a very fun thing. And I think it would just ruin the console experience in general. That's why the only positives I would say is that, you know, you can play with everybody at that point. If we're talking about in a rank system, that then you go, there you go, you can play with everybody. Maybe you do have an option to turn it off and on, but I feel like it would be abused in a certain way because a lot of players on PC would just turn on the, you know, checkmark to play against like Xbox and console players in general. And they would basically like boost technically because they're facing uh not the same tier of player because you know you're on a controller and then you have somebody that's on mnk that has a lot of experience their movement's a lot more solid a lot more fluid and a lot more smooth comparing to a controller where it's not as smooth it's rugged and you're locked at like 60 fov overall it'd be really cool to see maybe in the casual to arcade like custom games like i said in the beginning of this that would be definitely a cool idea because then you get to play with literally everybody whether they're on console ps4 xbox whatever that would be definitely a cool idea and it would be a great way to bring the community together i know my thoughts and opinions definitely don't matter when it comes to a ubisoft decision but it's always cool to see what everybody's opinion so let me know down in the comments what's your thoughts on console to console crossplay like that's a no-brainer everybody would want that it would be so cool and if you wouldn't want to see that let me know in the comments why on the flip side, let me know what your thoughts and opinions are when it comes to console to PC ranked. Now, I everybody should be okay with the casual and, you know, maybe you can turn the option on and off. But, yeah. If you enjoyed this video, make sure that you like, sub, and comment. It is much appreciated. Like I did say at the beginning of this video, I do stream on Twitch every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Link will be down in the description. Thank you so much for watching the video. This is Garfield's Doc. One love.